Okay, so let's say I'm with a person and uh, my attitude is to, I have this attitude of just automatically judging others. Um, and let's say they do something and then the judgment comes up. And and um, so the, the thing that's happening there um, is when one is in, you see, mentalization or addiction to thought is one mechanism to repress feelings. You know, it's like, um, and you can actually mentally push down feelings. Like if anger comes up, you can mentally, uh, intentionally just, I'm going to suppress this feeling and just quickly suppress it so you don't have to feel it. And even just thinking is a way of suppressing feelings because uh, to identify with thoughts is 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 a way of just um, obscuring the infinite presence by just being addicted to the stream of, 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 of thoughts that pass by the entertainment and the payoff of thoughts. And judgment is a very sort of um, low vibration identification, which is also going to repress feelings. The thing with repressing feelings is um, you can use you can do, use the Course in Miracles, pray for a miracle to see the person differently, to release the um, um, capacity to repress feelings. You can also do the self-inquiry to ask who is angry or just let the anger be there and ask what is observing the anger. Uh, and when the thoughts of judgment come up, what's observing are uh, witnessing the judgment thoughts. Am I a judgment thought or is there a witness of a judgment thought? If there's anger, just let the anger be there. But um, is the anger me? You know, or is there a witnesser of the anger? So is, if you go to the um is uh the witness the the that which observes anger and that which observes the, the thought streams or the judgment thoughts, uh, you, you have a shift in consciousness. And then you see, once you're witnessing uh, when witnessing anger like a cloud and witnessing the thoughts they start to dissolve and disappear is when you're unconsciously um identified with them they actually get stronger so you're, you're, perpet you're perpetuating the the repression but if you if you witness them and and go into the detached observer then you you dissipate them and it can be quite miraculous so but generally, um, most of humanity likes to repress feelings, you know, guilt, uh, my, my mechanisms. There's so many ways. I mean, the ego is just um, an expert in repress, in, in blocking out the, the infinite presence of God through mu a multitude of mechanisms. So there's, um, there's judgment. Uh, there is uh, repressing fear, anger, guilt, and shame. Um, the, there is um, there's different ones, but um, I mean all the addictions: um, eating donuts, eating food on feelings, uh, alcohol, drugs, sex, uh, codependency, um, uh, indulging in pride, anger, fear, lust. So um, also indulging in uh, in identification with thought. You know how how important are my thoughts and be the these individuated thoughts, which is also another uh, blockage to the infinite. So um, one of the tools I used in the early days, which Hawkins taught me, was just apart from the observer, which I taught was taught from another teacher, was um, with feelings. Whenever a, a anger or grief or fear or anything comes up is start to develop the opposite attitude of what is normally done, which is just to allow the feeling to be there without trying to escape from it by going into mental chatter or trying to push it away with thoughts or with food or with alcohol, or with TV, and just let the feeling be there and let, it, and let it keep being there until it starts to dissipate and dissolve away, i.e. let it come up, don't distract yourself, don't think, don't eat, don't uh, watch TV, and just let it pass. And that's a very, very fast way of um, uh, uh, of letting all the repressed feelings out. Um, I don't quite agree with what was said in the 1960s by therapists, which is that if you feel angry, just shout at everyone and scream at them <laughs> and tell them how bad they are. I, I just, I don't, I don't subscribe to that view, which is like, 
if you're angry, express your anger, you know, just hit them or something. No, I don't quite agree with that one, but anyway, each to their own. Uh, I'll stop on that, yeah. 